Well, stocks fall sharply on signals the U.S. economy may be heading for recession in the next 6 to 18 months. So, what do you need to protect yourself? Don't panic. Don't panic. That's the biggest thing. The underlying economy in the U.S. economy right now, we've got, got lots of jobs. We've got low unemployment rates. Uh, many companies are reporting good earnings. There you go. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Nog. And I'm Jessica Porter. Investors sent a message today to the White House. They pulled their money out of stocks and invested in bonds. The president blaming the Fed for today's drop, saying high interest rates are to blame and more cuts need to come. And as the back and forth continues between Wall Street and the White House, Colorado leaders say they're not worried and that whatever happens, this state is prepared. Here's Denver 7's Megan Lopez. A day that started out in smiles at the opening bell ended in the worst one the Dow Jones has seen in 2019. The Dow dropped 800 points, causing a lot of uncertainty in the stock market. On top of that, the yield curve is inverted where it's tipped. Normally, long-term investments earn more over time than short-term ones. That's the yield curve. And that's flipped. And that's what they mean by a tipped yield curve. Historically, it's the first sign of a recession. There's a lot of factors that could cause one, like tariff talks with China, Brexit's effect on Europe, interest rates, and more. But before we start to panic... The recession is not going to start tomorrow. Let's take a look at Colorado. For State Treasurer Dave Young... Our number one job in the Treasury is to make sure the taxpayer money is safe. He says the Treasury is taking steps to do just that. Right now they're moving to less risky investments. And keep in mind Colorado's Treasury was one of only a couple to actually make money during the Great Recession. We have a good strong history of wise and safe investment. On the legislative end... We are better prepared but not as prepared as we'd like to be. That's Representative Chris Hansen and Senator Dominic Moreno from the Joint Budget Committee. Right now Colorado has 7.25% in the general fund reserve. We should probably be at about a 10% general fund reserve to withstand you know, a, a moderate recession. The state learned a lot of tough lessons during the Great Recession and has taken steps to better protect things like education, welfare reserves, and unemployment insurance. But... I think the Joint Budget Committee feels like there's more we need to do to prepare. So what does this mean for you? DU Finance Professor Matt Klaus says the bottom line is this. Don't panic. That's the biggest thing. Be prepared. Uh, pay a little more attention to what's going on in your finances. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.